Okay, Assalamualaikum. So, for fin 544, so this video will brief to you about uh, dividend and payout policy. This is chapter 10 for uh, advanced corporate finance syllabus. Okay, so for further reading, you can refer to your textbook. In your textbook, okay, you can go to chapter 17 starting from page 567. 575 sorry so basically you need to know what you mean by dividend so dividend it is a type of income that company will give to their shareholder okay so in other words investor or buyer when they buy a company stock or when they buy company share they will uh, some of the share will give them a dividend as for their income so there are two types of dividend that the company may uh, allocate to their shareholder, which are the company can pay dividend in the form of cash. When we talk about cash, okay, we have two types of cash, which is in the form of stock repurchase and also the real cash. Another form of dividend that company can give to their shareholder is in the form of stock. For the stock, it is two types of uh, stock dividend that may apply, which are stock dividend and stock split. So, I will discuss first about the cash dividend. Okay, For the stock repurchase, we will further discuss stock repurchase in the next slide. So, the first is about the cash dividend. Okay, For the cash dividend, please refer to your textbook, page 575. So when we talk about cash dividend, this is the real cash value that the company can give to the shareholder. There are four types of cash dividend, which are regular cash dividend, extra dividend, special dividend, and the last one is liquidating dividend. For the cash dividend, okay, again, you can refer to the textbook, page 575. The cash dividend, we have four types of cash dividend. Okay which are regular cash dividend. For the regular cash dividend, this is the normal dividend that the shareholder gives to their shareholder, to their investor. Sorry, this is the near, uh, this is the normal dividend that uh, issuer give to their shareholder. For example, in Malaysia cases, okay, most of the uh, company, they will pay two times dividend per year okay to their shareholder okay for example hub Seng, they will give a 10 cent dividend for uh, early june another one dividend uh, another 10 cent will be allocated for december okay so that what we call as the regular cash dividend that mean this is uh, there is no something special about this regular cash dividend number two is the extra cash dividend for the extra cash dividend as the name apply here extra cash that mean when the company get extra profit for the year so the company will share to the to to share their uh, profit with the shareholder in the form of dividend for example normally Okay, in here I give the FNN. Okay, uh, no, we are using the Hub Seng just now. Okay, for example, normally Hub Seng will give 10 cent dividend to their shareholder. Okay, but due to this this year, there are higher demand for the Hub Seng product because we can go, we can we cannot eat outside, so people keep on buying Hub Seng product, especially for the Hub Seng biscuits. Okay, so the sales or revenue for the Hapsang increase. So Hapsang company want to share uh, their, the profit with the shareholder in the form of dividend. So if they previously Hapsang give 10 cent dividend to the shareholder, but this year Hapsang will give 2 ringgit dividend to their shareholder, which is very high as compared with the previous year. The third type of cash dividend is the special cash dividend the special cash dividend this is very special cash dividend and it's only happened one 
once in a lifetime. Okay, for example. Okay, for example, normally Hap Seng give dividend to the shareholder for the 10 cent. And the highest one when they have the uh, extra income, they will give extra dividend. But only 2 ringgit or 3 ringgit. Hap Seng never give dividend to the shareholder more than 5 ringgit. But in the uh, special event, let's say on that year, Hap Seng want to give special cash dividend. So Hap Seng can uh, Hap Seng announce that the dividend per share will be 30 ringgit. Okay. And this 30 ringgit dividend per share is only happen once in a lifetime. Okay, sekali sah di semua itu. For example, for the Microsoft company, previously, dulu-dulu Microsoft pernah bagi dividend kepada shareholder dia sebanyak 60 dolar, kalau tak silap, tapi banyaklah. Okay, kepada, tapi itu sekali saja semua itu. The last types of cash dividend is li, uh, liquidating dividend. In finance, when we talk about liquidate, it is, uh, that mean company sell off. Okay, jual dia punya asset. Okay. So, when the company sell their asset, so the company will get some cash, right? And the company will give, okay, will share the cash with their shareholder in the form of dividend. So, these four is the types of dividend. So, in the next slide, I will discuss to you about the chronology of the dividend payment.